I am Zaharuddin Mohammed Bello, the coordinator of the uh, Department of Common and International Law, Maria Bacha American University of Nija, Marabi. Yes, uh, law department is a department that is uh, normal, uh, called Department of Common and International Law. Uh, it is a department that is uh, solely undergoing a common and international law program. Uh, the department comprises of uh, courses that are purely of common and international law and uh, the department is of four levels. You know as an international university uh, our students normally when they graduated from there they will come back to Nigeria and attend what we call BAPAT 1. So because of that BAPAT part 1 we are, go, we are having 400 level and throughout that 400 level, you know, the university we are going, uh, we are undergoing uh, three semester per year. So within that uh, semester, I mean one to 400 level, they will have uh, what to call S semesters. S semester, that is each level two semester, uh, 400 level making S semesters. And uh, in each semester, as an international university, we try our best to see that the courses they are undergoing are uh, in line with what we call NUC guidelines because there is what we call BMAS, that is the guidelines for NUC programs, uh, particularly for low uh, programs. Uh, and we, we, we know that not in, even though it's an international university, but uh, al almost all our students are from Nigerian government, I mean Nigeria Republic. And that is why we also, as I told you, consider NUC guidelines, i.e. BMAS. So we try our best to see that all the courses that are required for Nigerian law school have been done, i.e. the compulsory courses that unless we do them, you will not be admitted into Nigerian law school. We are proud of our students uh, because we try our best to see that we give them or we give them the standard uh, educational required, particularly as a law student. Uh, thank God most of our lecturers, uh, majority of them are from Nigeria and we have undergone uh, Nigerian universities. Some of us from ABU, Amadou Bello University, some of us from Bayero University some of us from University of Meduguri, some from uh, Kasana, and some other universities. So based on that, we all have in our mind the, the basic requirement uh, and the uh, educational standard of law student as far as uh, Nigeria and international is concerned. And some of our also lecturers are international in nature. So all, all the required standard for education we do get there. That is why uh, I don't want to jump into the conclusion, but that is why if you go through the history of our law students going to law, Nigerian law school, you find that they are doing very well because we give them what is required as a law student. Yes. Yes, uh, there are some challenges that our students uh, maybe, as I, as I can say from the word go, that is from the beginning of the program, that they do challenge, uh, they do pass. Some of the challenges are the challenges of how to assess uh, materials. You know, it's an international university and we are, it's an American university. So we would not only rely on what you call hard copy material. We also introduce them into soft copy material. Sometimes by the time, uh, sometimes we give them uh, assignment. They cannot access internet. They cannot access book on the internet and do the assignment. But as time goes on, we train them, we give them the, the necessary skills, and they are, all, they are all equipped as to how to access material in the internet. In addition to hard copy that we made it compulsory for them, that whenever they are resuming back, they must buy hard copy of uh, courses. Because uh, whenever school is about to resume, a law department will make sure that we, we give the students the courses that are to be done in the next semester so that they will prepare again this, that semester. We also give them the references books that they can buy before resuming to school. So in addition to that, those references books, 
we give we we also guide them on how to assess books and material online and when we are doing the lecture each lecturer also give them what you call guide 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 uh, what you call lecture guide notes so that that lecture guide note will guide the student in addition to hard copy materials and the uh, internet material that they use to gather online Yes, uh, uh, 2010, I did voluntary lecture at Bayer University, Kanum. After my NYC, I started, I, I did NYC there, I lectured through my NYC, and even after the NYC, I started doing voluntary lecture, but uh, later, I abandoned that. I was employed to, into uh, College of Legal and Islamic Studies, uh, Jigao State Turingim. And uh, since 2012 up to date, I am lecturing there. And uh, I'm, uh, within this January, I'm, I hope to be promoted to lecturer one there. Yes, uh, a lot of things. First of all, you know, there in, in Nigeria universities, is when, it, when you resume as a student, that is when you know the course you undergo for that semester, the necessary material to buy and some other things. But in American University, under, uh, particularly under uh, Common and International Law Department, uh, before the student resume, we, ha we already have what you call uh, social networking. So that we, we used to send students uh, all the necessary uh, courses that they are going for the following semester, I will also send them the references material that they need to buy. And in, if there is any problem, the students are always contacting us and we give them necessary help before resuming to school. In addition to that, uh, during the lecture, we do lecture, you know, we are doing lecture some uh, most of the time with the use of introduction of PowerPoint, uh, I mean projector. And we give them lecture um, uh, guide notes. Uh, a part of lecture guide note, we give them course outline for the course. We give them uh, uh, access to online materials so that they can further their research. And a part of the, that, the lecturers there are so social in such a way that whenever the, a student has any problem, not necessarily during the lecture, even after the lecture, uh, maybe, by the, maybe by, by the time you retire back home, you are resting. If a student is reading and he finds it difficult to apprehend anything, and at Maria Abache University, our, student, uh, our lect lecturers are free to answer any questions from or the, uh, maybe pertaining any reading materials from students. So even if you are resting at home, the student can still call you, telling you that, sir, this and that I am reading currently at home and I cannot understand. And you have to respond to that student. And sometimes they will send it through uh, online to you. Then you respond to them, you clarify things to them, which is uncommon in Nigerian universities. A lecturer will start harassing a student by calling the lecturer. And we also do so many things there. We make sure that we socialize with the student because it's only by socializing with the student that the student will feel free to understand so many, to understand what you are teaching them. We carry the student uh, as our friends, as our colleagues, and so on. Unlike in Nigerian University, where you find that a lecturer is a boss to the student, a student will find it difficult to even approach his lecturer because he is afraid of what you call victimization. But there, a student will always call your attention, draw your attention, and you make sure that whenever there is need for any clarification, you clarify. And most importantly, pertaining the issue of result, you know, it's one of the difficult issues that Nigerian students are facing. That in Nigeria, if you fail or if there is anything like what you call absent is written in your result, just forget about it. They will not entertain. They will advise you to go and register and write. But they will ask you to write formally that this is the complaint I have. Then the complaint will go through the, 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 the school. The school will entertain it. And if there is a need to, to, to bring you a script and remark it, or bring you a script and remark it, or if there is any mistake of maybe instead of putting the right mark of A for you, grade of A, the lecturer for uh, the, the, the examiner for uh, what you call uh, C or D for you, instantly, if, whenever he realized that this is the situation, 
he will correct it instantly and he will take the issue uh, back to the school inform the school this is the correction he has effected and a part of that we make sure that the students whenever they are having any difficulties uh, maybe uh, failure to understand or having uh, difficulties in apprehending or what have you that is outside class we also give them guide uh, what you call guide and counseling that this is the way you should do this is the way you're supposed to do and th that is the way you're supposed to go about your study we always guide them we always teach them on how to make things or get things easy for them yes uh well uh, in the future i see Mara abacha university as one of the uh, first class international university being that uh, from the few years that Maria Abacha started it is uh, programs to date you find that Maria Abacha University has achieved a lot compared to all those all universities that are yet to achieve those uh, uh, progress Maria Abacha University has undergone so many recognition internationally that has not been done by Nigerian universities uh, even though they are oldest universities, but they were unable to achieve those uh, 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 targets. And uh, in terms of uh, so many things, I see Maria Abacha University as one of the best universities. Uh, in future, it will be the one of the greatest universities. Most important thing that it is recognized by a Sikh international uh, institute of accredited international universities and. It is also a member of international universities and some other organizations that non-Nigerian university is registered or Nigerian university is registered because uh, Maria Abacha University has been recognized by almost internationally. You know, it's an American university, so America is a home to Maria Abacha University. When I say internationally, all over the world, yes. Yes, uh, we have uh, achieved a lot of sources. Uh, you know, as I told you, as, a, uh, as, as you also said, Baby University, we, you know, we cannot avoid some challenges. We face a lot of challenges and uh, we were able to overcome those challenges. And uh, some of the challenges we face uh, pertaining the lecturers, we try our best that whenever there is any issue with regard to maybe a student and lecturer, that the lecturer is not entertaining student or is not attending student, the lecturer is not doing his best lecture. You know, one thing that I forgot to tell you is that on, uh, at Maria Abacha American University, all the lecture rooms uh, have what you call CCTV camera. So there is coordination in such a way that the lecturer is doing the lecture while uh, the admin officer is watching the lecture. So if the lecturer is delivering his lecture in such a way that he is not authorized by the university, his attention will be drawn. And if he refuses, he continue then he will, his appointment will be terminated. Likewise, if there is any irregularities, maybe in terms of delivering his lecture, or he cannot deliver the way he is supposed to deliver, first of all, we used to change the course for him. We, give him, we ask him, which course do you best understand? Which course do you best lecture? If he cannot deliver any any one of the law courses, then we will just discharge him from the university. Or if there is any issue of immorality, is um, among the challenges we face. Issue of immorality, we made it clear to the student that any lecturer that maybe introduce any immoral issue to the student, the student should not hesitate to inform the school authority. And we will make it secret that we will not even disclose the name of the student to the lecturer so that it will be uh, the student will not be afraid of victimization. We will try our best to take the necessary action even on our way to the lecturer. Yes, uh, uh, we, we are short of a word of uh, thanking Abubaka Adamu, Professor Ad Abubaka Adamu Goruzo, the president and founder of Maria Abacha American University, more particularly on the, uh, at uh, Common and International Law Department for all the support he is giving us because whenever we have any issue and we table it before him he will instantly approve it like this issue of extracurriculum activity 
issue of mood trial, issue of mock trial, issue of uh, debate among our law students, he all approved everything for us. That is why we always have uh, what you call, uh, I mean, mood and mock trial. And that is also helping our students and motivating them. A part of that, whatever we introduce to the founder and president of Barry Abacha American University uh, at law department, he always entertain and give all the necessary help. That is why you find that most of the international university, if you finish, if you finish most of the international university, you have to go to bar what you call remedial studies, 200 level. Uh, I mean, you go to, to Nigeria University, uh, spend two years, then you proceed to law school for bar part one, then bar part two. But in our uh, under his own capacity, he did all his, he can do to make sure that as English University and the American University were able to be admitted straight to bar part one without necessarily going to the remedial program. And that is a very great achievement and motivation, in fact, to the students. So we really thank him and we are proud of him and we pray may God Almighty continue to guide and protect him throughout his uh, life. My unforgettable moment at Maria Abacha American University in the time when the president and founder of Maria Abacha American University suddenly knew the responsibility of, that is by, by the time university started, he suddenly knew the responsibility of bringing out the standard required courses to be done by law students under international law faculty. I cannot forget that tax because I found it highly difficult. I did a lot of consultation into Nigerian universities and NUC in order to go in line with BMAS. And that thing, thank God, uh, that thing has really helped. That is why we are uh, nowadays succeeding because it's because of that standard curriculum we have that we are not having any challenge with law school. Yes, my moment of proud is uh, the time I found that Lo my own Maria Abacha American University under international, common and international law are admitted into Nigerian law school. I cannot forget that also. I am proud of that, that they are strictly admitted on that because there are some people that are saying there is no way that our student will be admitted straight to Baba to and they must undergo remedial. But at that time, we were, uh, the, the law school admitted them straight to Bar Part 1. So I'm really proud of that, and uh, I cannot also forget that. Yes. Yes, I always call upon my students. Uh, you know, law is not only uh, about education. Uh, in law, we have ethics. So I always call the student to always be moral, ethical, and read, and read, read hard. Because it's not easy, study is not easy. And unless you study, that is where you become a learned and educated. So I always call upon them that nobody will help you in life a part of your brain. So use your brain, forget about whatever someone will tell you. Even if your colleague will tell you that if we see social lecturer, also so far so we give him money or we do this he, that, that colleague is still only deceiving you just use your brain and pass and that is all yes to my co-lecturers uh, my call is upon them is uh, to take our student as our children and as our younger one so that you know you can no, you not do any harm to your younger one or your blood brothers or sisters so you should take them as our blood brothers and sisters in such a way that morally educationally and otherwise we discharge our duties in, without any maybe harm to the student yes yes uh, to the general public uh, I, I always advise people to look at the universities that have standards, one. Two, the universities that 
in which their, their, their children will be motivated by the lecturers and uh, in such a way that they will no harassment, no intimidation from the lecturers. And most importantly, the issue of sexual harassment, isn't it? You know, uh, we are trying our best, isn't it? Even though we are not angels, but we are trying our best in such a way that it's hardly to see any issue of sexual harassment and other issue in our university, yes. So parents and general public should always embrace Maria Abacha American University because it's one of the first class university and you will not understand what I'm saying unless you go to Maria Abacha and you undergo a program there. In, uh, Maria Abacha, as I told you, Maria Abacha American University of Niger, uh, common and international law. A part of the standard law required courses, we are also doing uh, what you call borrowing courses and that are also being according to the BMAS, like uh, uh, Introduction to English Language, um, uh, what you call uh, communication uh, skills, English communication skills. We do literatures, uh, we do uh, philosophy and logics, we do uh, public administrations, we do computer science, that is introduction to computer, and some other courses that I cannot uh, single-handedly say it now, they are part and parcel of our curriculum just to, guide, to be in guideline with the uh, BMAS and in addition to that to have our students be educated uh, vastly, not only limited to low courses.